hello and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on this channel you're welcome i am an ain poachin i'm an author and i also do business now today's video is basically for that part of my channel where we talk a little bit about real life issues and today i want to be um i want to share with you basically whilst i cook okay i'm making dinner i've already started the process and all of that but um what's it called um before i get into that thank you so much for those of you who are my new subscribers on this channel and thank you so much for those of you who interact in the comment section of my videos and also for those of you who give my videos a thumbs up thank you so much okay now we are at over um we are basically on six thousand four hundred um, over 400 um, views okay so um, thank you so much for those of you who watch my content okay now if you find any of the content on my channel whether it's useful or um, you know in terms of business or educational in terms of the real life issues that we address with solution to overcome them um, do feel free to give the videos a thumbs up if you have friends colleagues you know and family members who you think would also benefit from any of the videos on this channel do feel free to share with them okay now without further ado let us get into this video now like i said i've already started cooking and if you have not watched my videos that i uploaded yesterday go and check that out basically on that on those videos i was sharing uh, you know a meal that I made which was githeri and today in that same video I said I was gonna be preparing chicken casserole chicken casserole which I've already started doing and what I used basically is the celery um, celery is a vegetable and I use chicken of course chicken breast um, and then I also used um, potatoes, okay? Um, normal white potatoes, these ones. Let me show you. Okay, so I used these potatoes, okay? Now these are big, so I just chopped them up into um, eight pieces, okay? So that they cook quickly um with the rest of the vegetables and also the chicken and then um to season the casserole of course i cut the chicken breast into small pieces as well but not too tiny because chicken do shrink and washed it of course and then and put it to cook and the celery I chopped it up in small pieces as well but not too tiny that it it dissolves in the what's it called mushes up in the casserole but you know like these this much okay and basically I put some wash them and put it in the casserole and they're cooking together and to season I use my own seasoning okay this one which is basically um chives and coriander if you're not following ahp food store limited on instagram or facebook do go and follow that is where basically i share all the ingredients that i make from home and also um how i plant my crops for my family okay now on ahp food store we don't sell the food we use it for ourselves and eventually when we get our community garden um outdoor space we will be what's it called we will be giving out our food to families okay to um charities basically that cater for families so um that is why we don't sell our food however for those of you who are ordinary everyday people we do create resources such as videos and also um, um, post content on our different platforms for you to take part you know to use it whether to grow your own food for your family indoors or outdoors or um, to make you know seasonings for your food and all of that kind of good stuff okay 
and also we have books as well so for those of you who want them in your home library you can also you'll also be able to purchase those from my online stores all right now as we were i um i used that okay and then i also used um hot chili okay just this just a little bit like less than a teaspoon okay half a teaspoon um chili powder okay just to give that spicy flavor and then of course i used um table salt to taste okay uh normally table salt is like this one okay um to taste and then i used lee and perrins okay lee and perrins um is basically a sauce that you can use um over spaghetti bolognese you can also use it in stews to season to give your food flavor and you can use some in your stir fry as well and also in your casserole so i used some and um, there's only a little bit left so i'll pour the rest in there in a minute um other than that what else am i gonna put in there I'm not really going to put anything else but you can put like loads of different other vegetables that you have things like carrots and all of that good stuff as well but I didn't have carrots to hand but um I wanted to show you I want to show you today on top of that uh basically let me turn my cam uh oh not to worry okay so in case you're wondering why I've got my coat on, basically um, I dropped my son to school this morning and it's a bit, well it's become bright now but it was raining outside and all of that so I had to literally put my kitchen light on just to, um, what's it called, just to make it bright and then of course I'm cooking my casserole in my rice cooker, okay? Now if you don't know about the hack of rice cooker rice cooker is actually um can it can actually be used for more than one purpose of just cooking rice you can make your rice in there you can cook your potatoes in there you can make things like beans but with beans you have to soak it the night before in order to make it quick to cook quicker okay and you can make one pot dish uh, meals in there and also like for those of you who are, you know, maybe the Ghanaian heritage and the Nigerian heritage, you would, um, you can also cook your, what's it called, jollof rice in there, okay? So, um, so yeah. Let me show you how my casserole is looking, okay? You see? That's how it's looking. I'll add a little bit more water. Because I just added a few more potatoes in there. Initially, I had just put um, two potatoes, but I added... Um, one more so so that it would what's it called um be enough because my son likes potatoes okay so that is going to be dinner and today is friday so we need a nice filling dinner and then um because my son will stay up a little bit longer for movie night and all of that so let me know what you typically do on a Friday. In our home, Fridays are normally um, chilling days after school. You know, um, we have good meals, um, good snack, and then we have movies in the night, okay? Or we watch good YouTube um, movies, okay? Or cartoons, yeah? So that is typically what we normally do on Fridays in our home now um I'm going to be showing you basically how to prepare your um what's it called how to prepare your 
lettuce for planting okay today so let me go into my fridge I've got two here and then of course I've got a plate which I'm going to use as an alternative for um, chopping board okay now I'm not going to use these letters today but I'll use them over the weekend okay just to make nice salad so if you can see the bottom there okay this part is basically where the roots regrow okay and you plant them so if you don't have um the what's it called the seeds you can use that every time you buy this type of lettuce it's romaine romaine hearts okay romaine hearts is a crisp and crunchy has crisp and crunchy leaves okay and it's good it's a classic for um it's a caesar salad classic so for those of you who like caesar salad um that is basically the classic that is used to make caesar salad okay now let me know in the comment section if you like me to make caesar salad for you okay let me know in the comment section and then it's got um Basically, it's got the the ingredients for Caesar salad, okay? So, what you'd need to make your Caesar salad is four chicken breast fillets. Um, you need a tablespoon of olive oil and one pack, which is like a pack like this, okay, of romaine lettuce, okay, romaine lettuce hearts and you wash and you tear them into pieces and then you need one pack of um sweet gem lettuce okay and then you also need to wash that and shred shred it and wash it okay and then you need what else do you need you need seven and a half ounces of cherry tomatoes which is basically 220 grams okay and then you you need to half wash and half those okay and then you need uh what's it called and okay you need two ounces which is basically 50 grams of pine nuts you need to lightly toast that and then um and then uh, what's it called chop them roughly chop them and put them into your salad and then you need to also um, have three and a half ounces which is a hundred grams of black pitted olives okay and you cut those in into halves okay and then you need three slices of your choice of bread now I know I would probably go for pita bread okay um chase bread and then you need to cut into cubes to make oh no i wouldn't use um i wouldn't use pita bread i would probably go for um brown bread okay um seeded bread and toast that and then cut them into cubes to make croutons okay and then which is basically to garnish your salad after and then you need three tablespoons of olive oil preferably i use extra virgin olive oil to for that um for my salad dressings okay and then you need you need four ounces which is 130 grams of fresh pesto now you can make your own pesto or you can um you can make your own pesto or you can actually buy them in store okay and then you need one lemon okay you you half it 
and basically zest um, half of it and then um, juice the other the half okay and then um, what's it called cut into wedges to serve so then you cut your lemon into wedges to serve okay and then um, to serve you need two extra virgin olive oil a handful of parmesan cheese shavings okay all right so you mix all of that into a salad bowl and that is caesar salad sauteed okay um yeah that's basically your caesar salad sorted so if you'd like to see the video of that let me know in the comment section and i'll actually make that into a video okay um but without further ado let us get into today into what i'm doing so basically i've got my knife and i've got my um my plate which i'm using as a chopping board and then okay so all i would do let me use this to place that over there all i'll do is cut it and you leave a little bit of body just to hold okay like that that's how you'd cut it and then you place this into a bowl of water cold water okay which i'll show you in a minute all right so let me bag this so i've got a clean food bag like i said i'm not going to use this today i'm going to use this over the course of the weekend to make salad okay for our lunch or our dinner um and then i'll do exactly the same with the second lettuce okay so again cut it leaving a bit of body to hold the soil when you're planting okay i've done exactly the same okay so again you put that in a bowl of cold water all right now i'm gonna put this back in the fridge to keep it fresh Now, let me go and get my bowl of water. Actually, let me take this with me. Let me take this. And then I'll just turn my camera. Now I've got my bowl of of, um, of water here because I did the celery, so there's still space. Okay, you can see there's still space in there to fit the lettuce as well. But don't overcrowd whatever bowl you're going to use. If you're gonna, if I was planting more than four um, different things, well, two different over more than this basically i would use a bigger bowl okay so i'm gonna fill this to the top remember it's cold water okay that you need yeah so fill it and then place it where there is light okay and don't keep changing your water do not keep changing your water because that will um mess up the process okay so you leave that for roughly five to seven days until the roots start developing and then you take it and you plant it in your planting pots like those that i have on the window okay like these ones here okay these ones or even the long um the long tray ones the long 
um, looking tray what the, the ones that look like trays basically the planting trays okay so um, that is how you would do it and then you just wait for your lettuce to grow and then you trim them and then come back okay until obviously they die and then you use it as your compost and that is basically it um if you would like to see more of these kind of videos let me know in the comment section now um like i often say i have two books that are coming out in december okay next month um one is called planting for food indoor series okay which is basically me showing you um, how to grow your own food inside like this using planting pots such as those on the windowsill and also over there okay the greenhouse okay so how to grow your food if you don't have outdoor space okay and for those of you and then there's a second one called um planting for food outdoor sewing which is basically for those of you who ha may have a family home with a garden okay and maybe your back garden uh, may or your front garden if you have more space in your front garden to grow or if you don't want to use your back or your front garden you can have um higher an allotment space where you can grow your food okay um or for those of you who actually have farms those of you who are outside of the uk and you actually have farms or you have small plot where you grow your own food that book is for you so they are going to be available in my online stores okay so that is it guys i shall see you in the next video bye